Hey guys, today we're going to work on two different ways of using glue in a painting project. Your first step is going to be to draw your picture. Remember when you're using glue that you want to keep your project that you're drawing very simple because the glue will spread as it dries and if you do anything too small or detailed, it's all just going to blend together. So I have my bird. I'm going to erase any of the extra lines that I don't need. Remember, if you do your sketch lightly, it's a lot easier to erase. All right, now I'm going to trace the lines of my bird with the glue. It's better if you don't open up your glue bottle the whole way, that way the glue won't spread as quickly. You only wanna trace the lines on the outside and the big detail lines. You don't want to trace your little sketching lines. If you are doing something tinier, like the claws on the bird's feet, you can just use a line instead of trying to outline it. Okay, here's his branch. There we go. Now, if you want to use salt to create your project, you can start right away. You don't have to wait until the salt is, the glue is dry. Make sure you pour the salt on top of the glue. Be very generous with the salt. You're gonna brush off all the extra. And what we're gonna do is paint on top of the salt with the watercolors. Now I put water in my watercolors ahead of time, so all I'll have to do is mix it. Remember to drop the water onto your watercolors and get it ready for painting. Just lightly tap your picture on your tray so that all the salt falls off, and then you're ready to begin coloring. You don't need to touch your paint your salt very heavily. Lightly touching it with the paint will cause the salt to spread the paint. Make sure if you want to change colors that you clean your paintbrush in the water first. And remember, this is another way of using color mixing. The colors that you put next to each other will blend into each other. Remember about the complementary colors. If you put something that are opposites on the color wheel, when they join together, they might make a brown muddy color. Primary colors will mix to make secondary colors. But mostly you just wanna have some fun with it. I'm doing this really quickly so y'all can see how it goes. And you would be able to finish your bird with whatever colors or you want. And of course, you don't have to draw a bird. Also remember that whenever we do projects like this, they are just for fun. You are not required to do this for our distance learning. Okay, so let's look at another way of using salt when you want to paint a picture when you want to paint a picture. On this one, I did the same thing. I drew a picture, I outlined it with glue, and then I painted over the whole entire picture with acrylic paint. It could be done like this, or if you wanted to, you could go through with a Sharpie marker and add some fun details to your picture. You could also paint the extra details. Crayons won't work and probably regular markers won't work either. All right. There's one way of using glue and the watercolor and salt is the other way of using glue. Remember to send me any pictures of things that you create so I can post them on my website under our photo gallery of work that we've done this year. I'll see you tomorrow.